All right, forgive the shakiness, but I am in vlog mode right now because I have kind of a different video today. Um, <laughs> oh, where to begin? I've got an, an embarrassingly disorganized kitchen. I I'm talking like, it looks nice, like this on the surface, much like mom life in general, on the surface everything looks clean, but if you peek inside, it's like a big hot mess. So, um, I've decided I'm gonna do something about that. Now, I have been very, very blessed in that despite lots of financial setbacks, um, my God has always provided for my family. We've always been able to get the things that we need and get the, the essentials and he's just, he's always provided. And I've also been very lucky in that because of you guys watching my channel and supporting this channel and because of ad revenue, I do have a small monthly income that I can rely on to do other things with. But I've kind of been thinking lately that that money, instead of spending it on stuff and experiences, which are good, I think it might be good to spend that money on services that will actually help me have a better day, if you know what I mean. Um, as you know, I work from home most days and that means that I have children here in the house and a big mess, and that means I often don't have time to tackle things like this. Now, this looks pretty decent at the moment, to be honest, because I actually had to go through it this weekend and remove a lot of stuff that just we weren't gonna be using anymore. But the majority of my cabinets look um, like this one, here, hot mess. So I went on an app called Tackle and I hired someone to come out today and organize my cabinets. Now the Tackle app is really cool because I'm able to go in and specify what kind of job I need. I can say when I want it and you can actually get someone to your house within a couple of hours. Uh, I opted to wait a couple of days because I needed a little bit of time to just make this not as funky before she got here. But basically I'm paying I think about $80 to have someone come out and organize my entire kitchen. I'm gonna give you a quick walkthrough of what this kitchen looks like right now, and hopefully she's gonna let me film a little bit of her in here. I'm gonna have to get her permission for that. If not, I'll just show you the after, but I'm hoping to show you a little bit of the in-between. So here we go. Okay, we're filming on my phone so that I can do a little bit more vloggy kind of stuff here. So here are just a few of my cabinets. This one is mostly for uh, bottles and just different kinds of cups. This one's not too bad. It was pretty nasty before I went in and cleaned it out. This is my spice rack <laughs> um, or spice cabinet, I guess. What kind of sucks is that I've got all of my spices just kind of jammed back there, which means that when I want to find anything, I just have to like scooch everything over, which sucks. But down here in this little cabinet, look at this. My house came with a lazy Susan. Like I actually have space here to put all my spices. And what am I using it for? Nothing, because I'm an idiot. Up here, I have our plates, which as you can see, we're kind of in the middle of transitioning fully to replay. But again, I have all this space up here that I'm not using at all and everything crammed down here. We're short people in this house. We don't have a lot of use for these high up there shelves, but maybe she can help me figure out a meaningful thing to do with those. Now the thing about this house is that when we first moved in here, I was so excited about all of the cabinet space. We literally moved from the world's tiniest apartment and I was so excited to have so many cabinets. But instead of using all my cabinet space like I should, I have just crammed everything as tightly as I can into a few choice cabinets, leaving other ones totally empty, which makes no sense. I've got a majorly hot mess down here which I like this is we're getting into embarrassing zone. But here's all of my crap stacked on top of each other. <laughs> it's just a mess. So just real quick, let me show you what I'm working with. We have all of these cabinets here, this kind of corner nook here, all of this space up above. We have these cabinets up here above my oven as well as up above the fridge. Then we have this whole row right here, um, two underneath the sink as well as two over here by the stove. And then we have this little row down here. You can see they all go along this way.
Okay, it's a new day. The kitchen organization is all finished. Truth be told, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. It was wonderful to have that two hours of time that it took her to do this so that I could get other things done in my house. So first I'm gonna show you what she did and then when I'm done with that, I'm gonna to talk to you about kind of the pros and cons of using the Tackle app, um, kind of what I liked about it, what I didn't, because I think this is something that might be useful for you moms who have chores that you need to get done and you just don't have time or energy to do it. So let's go ahead and take a look at my cabinets. So just to give you a quick walkthrough of how everything is organized, doesn't it just look so much neater? I can't get over it. I really can't. It's, um, you know, it wasn't awful before, but it definitely was not optimal. And now I just feel a little bit of peace when I come into my kitchen. I know where to find everything. I don't have to rummage through stuff to find what I need. It's just, so much better and look she even did what I asked and she left pretty much all of my top shelves empty like I said nobody's tall in this house <laughs> so we only have the bottom shelves to work with which actually turned out pretty great so overall I have to say I'm really really happy with the work that this girl did I filmed the first part of this video yesterday and yesterday while I was out and about I mentioned in my Instagram stories that I had someone from tackle come to do this and I got a bunch of DMs from you guys asking what is tackle so I thought I'd take a moment to actually explain to you what it is and what I did and how it worked and all like that tackle is an app that you can download to your phone where basically you can pick out chores that you want people to come and do in your house. You can go into the app and they actually already have chores listed out that are pre-priced and you just select the chore that you need done. What I wanted done was having my kitchen cabinets organized like I just showed you. So when I went into the app, I didn't actually see a chore already listed in the app for that. So I was actually able to click something that says build your own, I think it's build your own task, build your own chore, something like that and I was able to specify exactly what I wanted to have done. Um, in my case, I was able to say that I needed home organization done, which they did have an option for that in the build your own section. It asked me what size space I needed cleaned, and for my kitchen, I chose a small space, less than 200 square feet. Um, it then asked you to upload pictures of the space and what kind of things you need done and write a little description of what you need. So I took pictures of my awful cabinets and I just said I need someone to come organize this stuff. Um, and I was told for the size space that I had it was going to be $79. I did go online and did a quick search um, in Google. I just said like um, tackle discount code and I did find a 10% discount code that I was able to apply so I saved 10% on that order. Um, and like I said, within just a couple of minutes, I had someone who lives here in this area. She's actually a college student. Now, when I look at the work that she did, and I think you would arrive at this same conclusion if you were me, I could have done what she did. It's not, she's not an organization professional. That's not what she does for a living. That's not what she's going to school for. She's not doing interior design and that kind of thing. Um, so I, as I look at it, I don't see anything particularly special about what she did. She did the same work that I could have done, only she did it and I didn't have to do it and I didn't have to even spend any mental energy thinking about it. So although I don't feel as though I got a professional organization or reorganization of my kitchen, that's not what I was going for. I just needed someone to come do it so that I had those two hours to do other things on my checklist. Um, if you want to know how I feel about spending the money, absolutely. Every time I would rather spend my money on people taking over jobs I don't want to do than on stuff. 
hands down. Worth it all the way. Love you, mean it always, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.